So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code on this side. And today we will be solving another problem of POTD that is level order traversal. So it is an easy type problem, but still I used uh, five attempts to do so when I was in my learning stage. Right now I solve it very frequently, right? Okay. So level order traversal. So traversal. This suggests that this is another type of traversal of a binary tree right of a binary tree okay so what do you mean by level order traversal is right so in the pre-order we see in the pre-order what was the uh, what was the technique it was root left right correct in the post order what did we see in the post order we saw it was left right root again correct now in the in order we saw it is left root right now a gentleman raised up and he said that i want the level wise traversal what is level wise traversal that this is my level one this is my level two as in depth right and this is my level three right any questions i don't think so right now okay so what is the level of traversal is for level one it is 10 for level 2 is it 20 30 for level 3 is it, it is 40 60 right all right now he said that give me this traversal that is 10 20 30 40 60 we asked him what is the name of this traversal so he named it as level order traversal level order traversal right level order traversal so now he, he raised a question to us that how will you get, give me the level of traversal and us being a DSA specialist have to think it through. So what we will do, we saw the first node is root. We saw the first node is root, that is true for all the cases. So we'll just take to root, right? Now we see that I have to take the 21st then 30, right? 21st and 30 because we are moving left to right, because we are moving left to right. So roots left first roots left first and roots right afterwards right so root left first root right afterwards so we took 10 we took 20 we took 30 right we took 30 now after after taking 30 after taking 30 what did we see we went to 20s left again we went to 20s left again right that is 40 and then 20s right 60 Suppose this was something like this and here it is 70 and here it is 80. Would there be any difference? No. It would have come, 70 would have come here, then 80. That is 20 is left, 20 is right, 30 is left, 30 is right, right? Right? Are you able to understand me what I am saying? I am saying that I encountered 20 first. So I, encounter, I took 20 left first. I encountered 30 afterwards. So I, take, I took 30 left afterwards, right? Okay. So it is something like I took, let me write what I say. I took 20 first. I explored, let's say explored, explored in the sense left and right. So I explored 20 first, right? So as in this is, I took that is first in and explored that is first out, right? So there is why I, the there is from where I get that it, I am using a FI F4 type of something thing. And when do I use FI F4 in cases of Q? So I say that I can arrive to an, uh, a conclusion that I can use a Q, right? I can use a Q. So let me draw the tree again. So my tree is 10, 20, 30. And let me let me make it let me make it more complex this time. This is 40, 60. 70 right so i take a q let's say my q is this i will be key keeping account of the nodes right i will be key keeping account of the nodes right so at first i am only given with the root so i push the root inside right okay then i will proceed until my q is unempty right until my q is empty i see the 10 is present in the root take it out answer 10 right now, I'll explode. If 10 has a left, yes, 10 has a left. Put it inside. 
I'll see if 10 is the right. Yes, 10 is the right. Put 30 inside, right? Now the size of the queue is the size of the queue is 2. The size of the queue is 2. Remember, guys, the size is the next level, right? So my first level contains only one node. You can see 10. My second level contains three nodes, or sorry, two nodes, 20 and 30. And the size of the queue is 2. So this is my level 2. This is my level 2. So my level 2 will be 20 and 30. So when I will pop it, pop it out, 20 will be coming first because the 20 went in first, right? Put 20 here. Now, now to mark that 20 is left and 20 is right should come first, what I will do is I will put 40 here and then 60 here. 40, 60, right? Now I have done one iteration, so only one iteration is left. I went to 30, I took that out, write it here and explode. 70 is present. There is no right, so nothing here comes, right? 20, 30, done. Now 3. Why 3? Because I was given two nodes for level 2 and I took them out, took the took both of them out, right? Okay, so 40, 60, 70. 40, 60, 70. This is the size 3. And you can see the level 3 also has three nodes 40 60 70 okay so i explored 40 like took it out i see that nothing is attached here right similarly explored 60 similarly explored 70 now all of them didn't have children so nothing comes inside the loop afterwards so the queue becomes empty and i get my level says 10 20 30 40 60 70 right and this is my answer right now gfg asks us to provide this answer as a single array that is 10 20, 30, 40, 60, 70. Whether as lead code provides us, like lead code asks us to prevent the, uh, to provide this answer as a separate list. That is level 1 list is 10, level 2 list is 20, 30, and level 3 list is 40, 60, 70. Right? So currently we are solving the GFG problem, so we will be providing this. But you should also be aware of this, right? You should also be aware of this. How will we solve it? By using the q dot size by using the q dot size if we want to provide an output like this if we want to provide an output like this we will not use the q dot size we will just pop that out right we will just pop that out right okay so let us see the pseudocode once again and then explain if anything left to be if anything is remain dizzy right now so what did we do we took a q uh, already made in the c plus plus stl of type node star because we are pushing the whole node into it Name it as Q, right? Okay. Now we pushed the root into the queue. So Q dot push root. We made an answer that is of type vector, right? It is empty at first. Okay. Now while Q is not empty, right? While Q is not empty, what I will do is this is a loop, sorry. I will take my node out of the queue. So I will Q dot pop. This will pop that element out of the queue and give me the node, right? Now what I will do is, I will answer dot push back. I just want the node's value, so I will use node data, right? Okay. And then if node has a left child, push it into the queue, push it into the queue, right? Otherwise, if not otherwise, in the in the else cases, like this is not if these these two ifs are not ready, right? This is not if and elif. If this is simple two ifs, has a right child. Similarly, 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 push it into the queue, right? Okay. Now, what is the time complexity of this code? What is the time complexity? This is very important to discuss the time complexity. So, time complexity of this code is you can see in the above example, we were going to the each node only once. You are going through each node only once, right? So what time it did it took? It took O of n, where n is the number of nodes, right? And what is the space complexity? What is the space complexity? So we are using a queue that might get all the nodes at once. All the nodes at once. So it is O of n as a space complexity, right? So time, time and space complexity both are linear, right? So I hope you liked the video. And if you understood the algorithm, let's move to the coding area. Meanwhile, if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe, right? So what we will do? Q of node star Q. Q dot push root, right? And create a vector to store the answer. Vector of int answer, right? Now, while 
my queue is not empty what i will do is and let me create some space here for you while my queue is not empty what i will do is i will take my node star node as q dot front and q dot pop right now answer dot pushback nodes data right now if nodes of left is present in that case push data to the queue so q dot push node left and similar for the right so i will just copy the statement and i will paste it for right let's make some changes it's right here and right here right okay and at last after the loop is finished register it on the so let me clear out my space i used to make the output clear now this will work fine if you have already subscribed to my channel oh you have subscribed to my channel and not if you not then submit will not work if you have not subscribed then submit will not work and oh this worked correctly test case passed 94 days streak thank you for all the love and just keep supporting me and i will bring such more amazing content to you till then keep watching keep liking my videos and keep coding thank you have a nice day